Welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'll be providing my solutions to the 27th PMO qualifying stage. Let us start with part 1, problems 1 to 5. Question number 1. A convex quadrilateral ABCD satisfies the condition that angle A is equal to twice angle B, twice angle B is equal to 4 times angle C, and 4 times angle C is equal to angle D. What is the measure of angle C rounded to the nearest integer degree? Alright, so let us represent um, each of these quantities by x. Okay, so if we have this um, representation, we can solve for angle B and angle C. And that's just angle B equals 1 of x and angle C equals 1 fourth x. Now we know that the sum of the interior angles of a convex quadrilateral is 360 degrees. So if we add up angles A, B, C, and D, the result is 360 degrees. Now we can replace angle A and angle D by x and angle B and angle C by 1 half x and 1 fourth x respectively. Um, so we obtain the equation x plus 1 half x plus 1 fourth x plus x equals 360 degrees. Combining the terms in the left-hand side, we should get 11 over 4 times x equals 360 degrees. Now, um, take note that angle C is equal to 1 fourth x. So, we, we don't have to solve for x here. We just have to multiply both sides by 1 over 11. So, if we do that, we must get 1 fourth x equals 1 over 11 times 360 degrees. Dividing 360 by 11... And round the, rounding this one to the nearest integer, the result is 33 degrees. So, angle C measures um, 33 degrees. So, the answer is letter C. Question number 2. The number 27 can be written as the sum of n consecutive integers starting from negative 7. What is the value of n? Alright, so this is clearly an arithmetic sequence problem. So here, we can use the formula for the sum of the first n terms of an arithmetic sequence given by this, where um, S sub n is the sum of the n terms, n is the number of terms, A sub 1 is the first term, uh, D the common, common difference. Alright, so what's S sub n? S sub n is 27, a sub 1 is negative 7, and the common difference, D, is 1, since the integers are consecutive. Alright, so let us just plug this in the formula. So if we do that, we should get uh, this equation. Now, let's multiply both sides by 2, and then simplify the inner terms. We should get 54 equals n times n minus 15. Now we know that n must be positive, so you can just easily guess and check the value of n but then you can also um, expand or distribute n in the right hand side and uh, come up with this quadratic equation which you can easily factorize so if you factorize this one you have n minus 18 times n plus 3 which is equal to 0 and finally we have n equals 18 or n equals negative 3 and then we take n equals 18 since n must be uh, positive. So the answer is letter D. Alright, so we have question number 3. A box contains 12 balls labeled from 1 to 12. In how many ways can 3 balls be selected simultaneously from this box such that at least one ball uh, labeled with a multiple of 3 is chosen? Alright, we will use here the combination formula given by n choose r equals n factorial divided by the product um, n minus r factorial times r factorial. Alright, so how many multiples of 3 do we have from 1 to 12? So we have 4 multiples of 3. 3, 6, 9, and 12. The rest are not multiples of 3. So how many uh, non-multiples of 3 are there? So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So we consider here 3 cases, case 1, only one multiple of 3 is selected. The other two are not multiples of 3. We can do that in 4 choose 1 times 8 choose 2 ways. Um, using this formula, 
and plugging in the needed values and then simplifying we should get 112 now case 2 um, two multiples of 3 are selected the other one or the third number is not a multiple of 3 so we can do this in 4 choose 2 times 8 choose 1 ways doing the same process we should get 48 and the final case uh, we select uh, 3 multiples of 3 so we can do that in 4 choose 3 times 8 choose 0 ways simplifying this we should get 4 alright so we just have to add up all of these numbers to get the final answer which is 164 uh, ways so the answer is letter C question number 4 a square is drawn in the plane whose vertices are the points 0 0 1 0 0 1 and 1 1 the line y equals kx divides the square into two regions with the area of the upper region being 27 times the area of the lower region what is the value of k okay so let's create first the the square with the given vertices in a plane so we have this one so how about y equals the line y equals kx so the line y equals kx divides this region into two so we assume first that this is uh, the line y equals kx now it is easy to see that the x coordinate of the intersection point of this line on this side of the square is one how about the y coordinate you can just substitute x equals one to the equation of the line to get the value of y and obviously if you do that y must be equal to k so the coordinates the coordinates of this point is 1k now we can come up with an expression for the area of the trapezoid the upper region and the area of the triangle the lower region but first let us determine these lengths the the height of the triangle and the length of the of this base of the trapezoid we can just use the y coordinates o obviously the height of the triangle is k and then this base of the trapezoid is the difference between the y coordinates of this point 1 1 and this point 1 k so that is 1 minus k and we know that 1 minus k is positive since 1 is higher than k uh, on this side okay now not notice that we can just um, use the formula for the area of the trapezoid to create an expression for the area of, of this region take note the area of the trapezoid is one half the sum of the two bases times the height so we have the area of the trapezoid uh, equal to one half times the sum of base 1 1 minus k and base 2 uh, which is 1 which you can get here the height is this one so that's 1 simplifying this uh, we should get one half times 2 minus k so how about the area of the triangle that's easier actually uh, one half times the base which is one and then times the height so one half times one times k which is equal to one half k now um, recall that the problem state states that the upper region is 27 times the lower region so we can create the equation one half times two minus k equals 27 times one half k so we just have to solve for k multiplying both sides by 2 we should get uh, 2 minus k equals 27 k combining like terms we should get k equals 1 over 14 so the answer here is letter D question number 5 let k be equal to 11 raised to 23 plus 23 raised to 11 what is the units digit of k raised to 27 we should know first the units digit of k before we determine the units digit of k raised to 27 you can easily actually you can easily solve this one by applying the concept of congruence or modular arithmetic but i will not um, do that i'll just look at the uh, patterns of the units digit of the powers of 3 okay so let's start with this number take note to know the units digit of k 
we should know the unit's digit of 11 raised to 23 and the unit's digit of 23 raised to 11. Alright. Obviously, the unit's digit of 11 raised to 23 is 1. Okay. Now, how about the unit's digit of 23 raised to 11? I will just look at the unit's digit of the powers of 3 starting from um, 3 raised to 1 up to 3 raised to 11. Okay, so the unit's digit of 3 raised to 1 is 3. The unit's digit of 3 squared is 9. Unit's digit of 3 raised to 3 is 7. Unit's digit of 3 raised to 4 is 1. Now, after the fourth power of 3, the unit's digits repeat. Alright, so there's a cycle uh, that is repeating every fourth power of 3. Okay, so 3, 9, 7, 1. So we know that the next uh, numbers that will occur here are 3, 9, 7, 1. And then again, 3, 9, 7, 1, and so on. So the unit's digit of 23 raised to 11 must be 7. So now we can determine the unit's digit of k by adding the unit's digit of 11 raised to 23 and the unit's digit of 23 raised to 11. So that is just 1 plus 7, which is equal to 8. Okay, so we know already that the unit's digit of k is 8. So how do we determine the unit's digit of k raised to 27? We just have to apply the same process. We will look at the powers of 8. The unit's digit of 8 raised to 1 is obviously 8. That of 8 squared is 4. Um, that, uh, that of 8 raised to 3 is 2. 8 uh, raised to 4, we have 6. And then after this, the pattern uh, repeats. Okay? So, the pattern repeats every fourth power of 8. So, we just have to divide 27 by 4 to determine the remainder. So, let's do that. So, divide 27 by 4 to get the remainder. The remainder is 3. So, this means that um, the unit's digit of k raised to 27 is the third number in the cycle. So, what's the third number in the cycle? That is obviously 2. So, the unit's digit of k raised to 27 must be 2. And the answer is letter B.